Hello guys, I'm Naval Yamal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to see the window functions in MySQL. So let us start with MySQL window functions. So I've created a table here. So I'll be giving you the script in the description so you can refer this run this and do the hands-on on the window functions i'm creating a table with the sales name and let me insert all these values there and then let me use select start from the sales now you can see you got all the sales amount so let us see how does the window function means what does exactly the window function means so before going to the window functions so let me first cover a small concept or a quick recap of how the aggregate function works so let me use select and let me make a sum of all this sales amount sum of the sales column the say uh, column name is sales from the sales table from the sales table let me execute this so what you will get here we are doing the aggregation of the column sales you get the sum of all the sale amount so let me execute this now you get 1500 that is the sum of the sales amount so if i try to do it by a group by using an aggregation group by and i want it with the fiscal year so in 2016 what how much was the sale in 2017 how much was the sale in 18 how much was the sale and so on so for that we need to apply a group by clause let me use select then from your sales table then i want to group by group by fiscal year fiscal year now i'm going to choose the columns i want so first i'll use fiscal year column fiscal year column and then i'm going to use the sum of the sales let me close this now let me execute this so you will be getting three rows which will have 2016 17 and 18 actually i need to take a sale here not sales okay sale and now let me run this yeah so you get three rows 16 17 18 and you get the sum of the sales here okay so what i'm trying to say is in both the examples when you are applying the aggregation functions when you are applying the aggregation function you are reducing the number of rows you are reducing the number of rows so from this query we are returning only three rows from this query we are returning only one row but in actual there are so many rows here you can see so when you apply an aggregation the number of rows have been reduced but if i ask you i don't want to reduce the number of rows and I want to calculate the sum that should come for each and every row. And I want a partition data also with the fiscal year. So what I want, so I want to see the 2016's data first. And then I want to see the 17's data and then 18's data. You can do that with a window functions. So here comes a picture of window functions. So before going to the window functions, I am going to explain you the over clause and partition by and then we'll go to the window functions. If I want to use a rank or rank the sale and so on, then we go for a window function. So let me explain you the query here and then I'll go in detail. So select from sales table sales table so what i'm going to select here so first i'm going to select the fiscal year column fiscal year column comma then i'm going to take the sales employee column as my second column sales employees employee and i'm going to take the third column as sale okay so i I am taking all these three columns. First is fiscal year, second is the sales column, third is your sale column. Now I am going to sum the sale column, sale column 
over i am using an over clause over partition by i am going to partition this data by the fiscal year column fiscal year column and i am going to rename that as total sales okay so i am just adding one column extra that will give you the sum of the entire sales but that should be passed by the partition by the fiscal year so let me run this and now you can see the output so you are getting the partitioned data so first you are getting 2016's data then 17's data and then 18's data in 2016's you can see we got the employee and we got a sale and the total sales we got the sum of this total sales and that is 450 now you can see that your rows have not reduced now let us see the window functions syntax so the syntax is you need to mention the window function window function name and you need to pass on the expression there on which column you want to apply expression and then over over and here you need to give a partition definition definition okay so this is your syntax for the window function we have seen the window functions here the syntax of window functions expression over the partition definition so here what are the window functions so to name few of the window functions we have like rank function this rank function is a one type of window function and we have a row number function row number function and we have a dense rank dense rank function uh, and so on okay so lag lead nth value n tile we have a lot of functions we will see in detail about that so instead of this window function name we are going to use any of this function and we are going to pass an expression over your partition by so just to save some time i'll copy the same code here copy it and paste it here now i'm going to select the fiscal year okay let me run this first for you let me select this yeah so i am going to select the fiscal year first and then i am going to use the sales employee and the sales column here i am going to use a window function suppose i am going to use a rank or row number so let me use row number function row number function over partition by the fiscal year so i am going to partition this by the fiscal year so i want to see the 2016's data first 17's data and then 18's data and i'll call this as as i'll rename this as row number row number from the sales table okay so let me execute this now you can see you got a row number according to the partition data so in 2016 we have three records so we got one two three in 2017 we have three records so we got one two three in 2018 we got three so you are getting one two three so this is how the partition will occur and then your row number will be placed now suppose if you want to place this in the descending order for example the john is having the highest sale that is 200 so he should get number one and then uh, second person 150 you should get 2 and Bob should get 3 so for that we need to add one more clause inside your over clause like we need to order by so we need to order by the sales table okay a uh, sales column sorry sales column and then you run this query now you get a same value because we have ordered this sale by ascending by default it will set in ascending but I want to make it to the descending. So let me use a keyword called descending and let me execute this. So now your 
uh, John who is having the highest sale will be number one, then allies that is 150, number two, and number three, and so on. So this is partition here. So to look carefully here in 2017, Bob and John both are having the same sale that is 150, 150, but your row number is giving you the number as 1 and 2 actually that should not be there so how to overcome this we are going to see the next type of function i hope you got this like using a window function over the partition by and the column name and then order by the column name as a descending and you are giving a new column for that and then from this table so let us start with the next window function that is uh, instead of row number, I am using a rank window function. I have kept it as it is. I have not changed anything. Just with the row number, I have replaced it with the rank. Now, let me execute this and see what happens here. When I use a rank function, you can see in 2016, there is not a problem, not an issue. 1, 2, 3. But when it comes to 2017, here we are getting, we have the same sales, 150, 150. We are getting 2 numbers that is repeated because these are number one rank one and one but for the 2017 ls where the sales is 100 he should get number two but we are getting number three because because this goes this goes for the rank one this is going for the rank one because both having the same sales but here you should get rank two because he is the second person but rank is not giving you that option okay so how to overcome that so we have one more window function that is your dense rank function so let me show you how the dense rank works so let me copy this and paste it here so instead of rank just let me use dense rank and execute this so just remember the output for row number and rank so here it is dense rank okay and let me execute now so now you can see you get one two three and just i scroll down here you can see one and one with the help of the dense rank function it ranks to every row within the partition based by the whatever order by clause <clears throat> so if there is a same rank to the row which is equal to the value so it will give the same number and then it will proceed to the next sequence it will not skip the sequence so you can see one one and then two that is how the win uh, dense rank function works so these are three important functions in the window functions rank row number and the dense rank in actual there are many window functions so let me name few of them so you have you can calculate the cumulative distribution by using this cum distance function window function we obviously have rank we have just now seen we have a row number row number and then we have a dense rank these three are very important dense rank then you have a lead and lag so we will see that maybe later on or you can just uh, understand the concept it is very simple and you can go with the next window function that is nth value and you have n tile to distribute the rows for each window partition which is specified number of rank row so there are one more window function that is percent rank so these are the window functions out of this we have seen rank row number and the tense rank i hope you understood this video guys if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching keep learning i request you to please copy the script and run it in mysql or your ssms and practice at hands-on thank you again